Right, good morning guys. I am coming at you from our dishwasher, if you can't tell. Uh, I'm in the process of kind of trying to deep clean the whole house. And one spot that commonly gets missed is your dishwasher. You think it's really clean because you're obviously washing a lot of stuff in there. Um, but no one actually ever takes the time to like descale, get all the soap crud out of there. Um, so we're going to be doing that today and I'll show you quick how to do that. Uh, so first things first, you're going to want to make sure your dishwasher is empty. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and make sure this drawer is either pulled all the way forward onto the door or you may even want to pick it up or remove it. Uh, we'll want to get in there and kind of just wipe around the bottom, uh, wipe up any of the kind of gunk you see. A lot of it might be uh, leftover dishwasher detergent, but we're just going to want to wipe around the edges and then again around the drain. Okay, so now once you've wiped out the bottom here and you'll probably just want to wipe it with I use just a wet rag, I mean it's just dishwasher detergent generally, um, so it'll wipe off pretty easily. Uh, but you'll just want to get all the way around the edges, you'd be amazed how much buildup you get in there. Um, we were actually worried that it was getting to be like calcium deposits or something, something from the water, um, but it was soap. Uh, so you just want to wipe around the edges and then just around the heating element, everything like that. Once you're done with that, we can go ahead and push this bottom drawer back in. I'll we'll actually be using the top drawer now. Um, you'll want a dishwasher safe bowl, obviously. Um, I'm using a Pyrex bowl, and then we're going to go ahead and pour about a cup of vinegar in there. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter the amount, you just want an upright dish with some vinegar in there. And we'll go ahead and place that in here. Obviously, you'll want to make sure you have one that can actually fit in there upright and isn't tipping. Uh, so once we do that, we will close this, actually close the dishwasher too, um, and then we will run it on a hot water cycle. And once that's done, we will come back with the next step. Alright, so we finished running our hot water sanitizing cycle with the vinegar in there. Um, there was some particulate that came up and actually settled in the dish that we had in there that had the vinegar in it. So now our next step, final step here, we're just going to take baking soda. And this is great if you want to use up the stuff, if you have some in your fridge to absorb smells, things like that. Um, once it's done in there, it's great to use for cleaning. So we're going to take some of this and just sprinkle it across the bottom of your dishwasher here. And then once you've done that, we're going to close it up again. Uh, and this time we're not going to run as long of a cycle, we're still going to use hot water, but this time we're actually just going to do um, a either quick cycle or rinse cycle to go through that again. Um, and then you should be ready to get back to normal with a fully clean dishwasher. Um, so you'll want to do this a couple times a year. Um, some people recommend doing it every month. I personally probably won't do that because it takes quite a while, um, but I will definitely be doing it you know, two or three times a year, every couple months, or as soon as you start noticing that build up on the bottom of your dishwasher. So hopefully this helps you uh, get a cleaner dishwasher and deep cleaning your house.